Hey guys, it's Brandon. Let's have uh, one more live blitz game here. Try to get a win. I'm playing Ruben Jesus, I think, since it's Mexico, but it could be Jesus, I guess. So, we play with a Retti opening here, and I think I'm going to sort of transposing into a Catalan. And um, I'm going to play with c6 and d5. That's how I'll play this. Ah, captured. So maybe now bishop to g4. And I'll trade it for this knight because I'm going to set up my pawns on light squares here. get this knight out. I'm going to play e6 and just sort of set up uh, my pawns on light squares just to um, sort of emphasize my my good bishop on um, the dark square diagonal here. I may have some pressure. Oh, now he's just giving me the e4 square. Well, not really. Because he, oh, he took with the pawn. He didn't take with the bishop. I didn't even pay attention. I just assumed he would be taking with the bishop. So he's got some nice control over the uh, e5 square, but it's going to be tough for him to get anything out of that. I'm going to play queen b6. It's going to be tough for him to get a knight here. He'll have to reroute this knight over to over to this square. I'm hitting the pawn on b2. Um, I'm going to just play rook to the c file. Um... Could keep this knight on the queen side, like so. I don't want this knight coming into I don't want this knight coming into to B6 right now. That's an annoying square for the knight. I'd like to keep it out of there. Uh Plans for me are going to be just to put pressure on this isolated pawn, which means I'm going to have to reroute this knight so this bishop is maintaining some pressure on the pawn. Um, the queen is doing a nice job. Uh, okay. I'm not sure what the point of this move was, except to connect the rooks and maybe double. So where can I reroute this knight? I'm going to put him in on d6, just to have an eye on this e, e4 square. Yeah, he was planning to double. Oh, actually, I'm going to put this knight here and just add another <clears throat> attacker to the d4 point, which is now not defended enough. He's going to have to put a defender on there. And maybe it'll be tough for him to do that. Maybe he can't even hold on to the pawn. Okay, he's doubling on uh, on the d on the d file or on the c file, which makes sense because it's an open file. But as long as I keep my knight here, oh, actually, I'm going to have to connect the rooks first because uh, let's see, takes, 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 takes. Now I don't have to. Um. He's blocking his own rooks in, but he's also hitting my b7 point. I'll defend the b7 point by putting the queen here. And he still has to do something about d6, I believe. Spectator, senseless. Excuse me, d4. Um, I suppose he could play a4 to chase this knight away. Okay, but if I take here, no, if I take here, and then take the knight, no, doesn't work, I'm not, I'm not calculating properly. I could take the knight and then the rook, the piece is hanging here.
could take my knight and then the bishop, but then I'll grab his... Ugh, I don't know what's going on here. My pieces... Are... Oh. He's gone two rooks for the queen. A rook and bishop for queen. Now he has to move his knight out of there. So I don't think he calculated that properly. <clears throat> yeah. Don't think he calculated that one right. Um, where to put my queen? I can do this. I'm now attacking his knight because the rook is no longer defending it. And I can try to chase the rook off of the rank. So this is getting a little bit tactical. Oh, he didn't realize that I'm attacking his knight. So I'm just up a lot of material here. I'll play check. Pick up this pawn. And this is no longer a threat here. So that was some strange sort of tactical game that uh, didn't pan out correctly for him. And uh, yeah, rook takes c6. I saw also as well. But um, he didn't catch it. I think this isn't the kind of position I play very well. I think he was okay with knight takes uh, knight takes uh, a, a a six, but after this, he should have played. He should have, he could have tried rook takes um, rook takes c six. At which point, uh, rook takes c six. Rook takes c six. Pawn takes knight. And uh, just down a lot of material, actually. So let's see. Rook takes c6. Pawn takes c6. Queen takes knight. And uh, I'm just down a fairly large amount of pieces. So he didn't. I didn't really play this right. He didn't really play it right. But uh, I ended up getting the win anyway. You know, I should have seen that he was threatening. Uh, he was threatening on uh, both those places. Maybe I should have played uh, queen to b6. But in any case, I probably should have just really just taken with uh, the b pawn, given up my knight, and just gone down a pawn and just played for pressure on d4. You know, something like after all those exchanges, like uh, rook takes, uh, pawn takes, not rook takes, rook takes, queen to queen to b4, and I don't think he would have been able to hold on to the d-pawn. I can't see a way for the rook to defend. Well, I guess the rook could have... Nah, the rook wouldn't have been able to defend, so I probably would have gotten my pawn back that way, but... Anyway, pretty sloppy and not well calculated by either side, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time. Bye.